Today we have a masonry shear wall design problem. The, uh, the forces are in plane and the, really the purpose of the shear wall is to resist lateral loading in a building. In this one here we're going to assume that the joists are parallel to the direction of the shear wall so the axial load on it is going to be negligible, zero. And uh, the trick, one trick to remember is uh, the stress block will definitely be in the grout and in which case you'd always use uh, solid properties. So this is 15 MPa block and you have hollow and you have solid pro uh, F prime M values but because the um, because the stress block factor is in the grout we use the the solid property 7.5. Okay so uh, let's first of all just start with balancing the, uh, the forces in the section. So we have uh, the force in the mortar, and uh, sorry, the force in the masonry, Fm, is equal to this uh, times 190 times A. So, force in the masonry is equal to phi M times 0.85 f prime m times the width which is 190 times a which is an unknown so 5 7.5 190 times A, and that equals 727A, and then the force in the steel, let's say this one here, we're going to assume that the strain in the steel is uh, larger than the yield, 0.002, and we'll check that assumption. In which case, the steel uh, does yield, so that would be phi steel, area steel, F yield. And also we're going to use 15 M bar in each one of these grouted, uh, grouted cores. So 15 M bar is 200 millimeters squared. So the force is 68 kilonewtons. So the force here is uh, 68 kilonewtons. And the force here is 68 kilonewtons. So now we can balance, uh, because there's no axial applied load, we know that the force in the masonry has to equal the forces in, in these uh, steel rotor cores here, these two here. So let's uh, let's just use ba uh, balance forces to solve for A now. So we got 727 A has to equal uh, two of these times 68 kilonewtons each. Two times 68,000 newtons. Then we could solve for A. So 2 times 68,000 divided by 727. <coughs> A is 187. And then from A we can also get C. C is equal to A over beta 1. So 187 over beta 1. Beta 1 is always 0.8. Right. So 234. That means that this distance C
is 234, right? This is the distance from the neutral axis of it. Now the the strain in the steel, we have to check to see that see if it yields or not. So we'd use uh, similar triangles. So this strain here is 0 0.03. So 0 0.003. That's the masonry strain. Is to 234. What this strain is. to this distance. And we know that the distance from here to here, that's 1100, right? Minus this, 234. That will give us this distance. 1100 minus 234 is this distance here. So I can solve for strain right from that now. I'm going to put it down here. Strain in the steel one would equal 1100 minus 234 divided by 234 times 0 0.003. So that's point zero one one one. And that is a, a lot. It's it's a, it's it's a lot greater, much greater than 0.02. So it that means the steel does yield. And now all that's left to do is to really to calculate the moment resistance of the section. And um, if there was axial load on the section, we'd have to take our moments about the this midpoint here, 24 uh, 2400 over 2, which is around here. But because uh, there is no uh, axial load, it, we're free to take uh, our moments about any point. So l let's make it easy and take it about uh, here. Take moments about here. So I'm gonna write out the. I'm just gonna write out the uh, moment resistance directly. So the moment resistance would be this force here, 68 kilonewtons. times the lever arm, which is uh, 1,200 from here to here is 1,200 times 1 1.2 meters, plus the force in the masonry, uh, but the force in the masonry is 727A, never, I didn't fully calculate it, so FM 727A, and we know what A is, it's um, 187 we solved it here. So 727 times 187 divided by 1000 puts it to kilonewtons, 136 kilonewtons. So, oh, not plus. No, it's going different directions. This is going down. This is going up. Plus, minus 136 kilonewtons. Force in the masonry times this distance here, which is uh, 1,200 plus 11 plus 1, that's 2,300, 2.3 meters, minus A over 2 to give us where the resultant of the force is. This is A, and this resultant is halfway, half of A. And A we just said was um, 187, so 0 0.187 over 2 and I'll just calculate it right now 68 times 1.2 minus 136 times the lever arm 2.3 minus 0.187 over 2 So that's uh, 218 uh, kilonewton meters.